Your referee in charge of the action begins, Mr. Paul Crosley. One of the most experienced referees in the UK, Mr. Paul Crosley, about to get this one underway. Blue. Three five-minute rounds if they need them. In the Cage Warriors flyweight division, Dylan Hazal in the solid black trunks, Elvis Oliveira in the black with red trim. Cautious start here. Oliveira taking center of the cage. Big heavy low kick from Hazan. He's on the back for here, so... I think he, I think he respects uh, Oliveira's uh, stand-up game here, so I would imagine take that time from him, Hazan. Big left, I think maybe a clash of heads on the way in there as well. Where it was going, that was... It looked like he, he was a little bit tentative with the stand-up game. I knew Hazan. Uh, but his, his body language is going to look for one of those big shots that he does. When Dibra hasn't quite completed the yet, he's on the back here with a body lock. Oliveira well, looked like he was trying to go for that Kimura grip to defend, but Hazan not having any of it. And this is really Dylan Hazan's bread and butter position. Yeah, I'd like to see Hazan just swab. Well, his foot is, uh, is out now, but Oliveira was just trapping him with his own left leg to stop him coming around the corner and take the back. For a big pickup here from Hazan. <laughs> Oliveira's putting all his weight in his heels. And yeah, there you go. Hazan just throws him to the back. So it was good, good um, grappling here from Hazan to recognise that he wasn't going to go forward, wasn't going to get the pickup. He saw Oliveira had all his weight in his heels. So easy route down down to the ground was going go reverse. Oliveira also a Brazilian residing in Portugal. Most of his fighting experience does come from the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu realm. Yeah, Hazan just putting a, a, an awful lot of pressure here under the chin of Oliveira against his cage, making it absolutely nasty for him here. Former national amateur wrestler was Hazan before making the switch to MMA. Yeah, his wrestling is super clean, there's no wasted energy, his, his timing is really good. I'm a, a high level grappler like that of, of wrestling, it, their top pressure is just immense, they're just heavy. They, whatever they are in weight, double it, go again. Couple of heavy shots to the body there from the Italian. A nice short left hook. Now takes the back, almost. It was good of Oliveira just to make that space to try and uh, do a technical stand-up. Didn't quite get it because Hazan was straight back to it, but Hazan going to need cut pass here to mount. Oliveira's got to be careful here. Can't stay here for too long. Still two minutes left on the clock in this first round, and that's a long time to have a wrestler as good as Dylan Hazan on top of you. Working, Dylan. Yeah, he's got the overhook on the right hand side here. I'd like to see him abandon that. Maybe go two hands to the hips, try and uh, bum sweep uh, Hazan off here. Create a little space even off the cage, but an overhook doesn't really do anything but hold your opponent in that position or your opponent in that position. Like he's not threatening, threat, uh, threatening a sweep with it. He's not um, looking for a submission with it. He's just looking to hold Hazan here on top and, and not let him strike with that left hand. Oliveira bleeding from the nose and also a cut, I believe, Back caused by one of those okay, elbows. Careful, Dylan. A big elbow there from Hazan. He's raining down some sharp punches here as well, which is leaving Paul Crosley um, tip away here in this position without standing him up. They're doing a great job of keeping busy here. Yes, yeah, good ground and pound here from Hazan. Staying top heavy. Creating a bit of space here. Thought he was going to um, go under for a, a single X footlock here. Tries the up kick. Hazan's got to be careful. He doesn't fall into one of those triangle positions. Right? Or even get his back take over committing with punches. Oliveira with his mouth wide open. Don't know if that's due to the blood in his nose or he's feeling the effects. Of the pace of this round already. Got 20 seconds to survive here in the first. That's okay, what's the back of the head? Keep it clean, Dylan. He's 
Milan just trying to chips in there and just really good top pressure here from Mazan. He's just not giving out all of it. Absolutely. Red, blue, work. I'd like to see Oliveira's hands a little bit tighter. He knows the shot is coming. Big left hand in his wobble. He flies in. And it's over! Unbelievable! Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Paul Crossley, calls a stop to this contest after just 12 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of knockout in the blue corner. Dylan!